thing has your attention, as if your life depended on it. What's with the clock? It's a psychology thing. It's for you. So that you don't lose track of time. I don't get it. Is it supposed to make me nervous? On the contrary. It's there to remind you of something. What, exactly? It's there to remind you that time is relative. Time is a very strange thing. Every second of it, we make decisions. We make choices. And these choices define who we are. Is that why we're here? Because we made a choice. Oh, I, I know why I'm here. Do you? Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you're curious. And that curiosity is your motive. It's that same curiosity that made you come here, sit on that chair and have a chat with me. Please don't tell me that you called me here just to have a chat with me. Maybe. Perhaps I called you for something more interesting than a chat. Surprise me. Oh, I will. Trust me on this one. Don't judge me, detective. You have no idea what I've been through. No, I don't. And frankly, I don't care. I care only for the things you've done. What I've done must not concern you right now. Really? What should I be concerned about? Your choices. Either you choose to leave or to play. You have an opportunity here. I suggest you take it, because there won't be another one. How can you be so sure that we're alone? What makes you think that I haven't called in this location? Because I know you, detective. I knew the moment when I sent you this invitation, you'd come alone. You work alone. And you enjoy a good challenge. It's been five years after all, right? Right. And after five years, your turn has finally come. Are you going to turn me down? Oh, I'm not going anywhere, trust me. I've got nothing to lose and all the time in the world. Well, this should sound interesting. More interesting than your victims, I suppose. They had no choice. Oh, no. I gave them a choice. A choice for their freedom. For their lives. That's another way to put it. A game. A simple one, actually. A lot simpler than life itself. A chess game with me. If they win, they can go. But if they lose, they have to stay. And die. Something amusing? The illusion of choice. They have no choice but to play. They don't know who you are or how good you are at this, so there is no choice. Their death is written. Their death was written many years ago, when they started to take life for granted. Is that why you're doing this? If you really want to know, make a choice. If I win, You'll have to let me go. If you win, I'll come in. I'll even let you handcuff me. Very well. You have the white ones. You may begin. I was really surprised to hear that you took my case. Is that so? Yes. I was under the impression that you had quit after what happened to those girls. 
How do you know about that? Oh, I know. I told you, detective. I know you. I know about those girls that you never saved. And that killer that you never caught. Please, don't tell me that you're going to fall asleep before we finish. Tell me, detective. How did he do it? How did he kill those girls? You want to know, eh? Okay. He was a monster. He was also smart. Smart enough to stop, cover his tracks, and disappear. He was picking up random little girls, usually from public schools with little or no supervision. He lured them into his car. Then he took them into his house. He fed them, raped them, tortured them, and kept them there for three days. After that, he... He cut them into pieces and burned them. He used to change locations over and over again. Never in the same school twice, but always little girls. Very smart indeed. Yeah, he was. But you know what? In the end, everybody gets caught. Everybody but him. He will. Someday, by someone. He will get caught. If it's not me, it's going to be someone else. Justice is a matter of time. In this life or the next. Do you really think so? I know so. And you... And you haven't heard of him? No. He disappeared. So he just... Stopped? Maybe. We haven't heard of a similar incident for years. Since... Since... Since you... I'm flattered. Don't be. So... How about... You? What about me? How do you pick your victims? Hardly victims, detective. Hardly. Really? I thought you were killing innocent men and women. I am surprised that you haven't picked a kid yet. I could never do that, detective. How's that? Because I'm a father like yourself. Like yourself, I love my children. And there's nothing in the world that I wouldn't do for them. You do realize that those men and women had children, don't you? No, they didn't. But you already knew that, didn't you? What? You're surprised that a killer has conscience? I make my choices very carefully, detective. Explain that to me. Because I busted my head many times trying to figure out a connection between those men and women. You couldn't find any connection because there is none. There was never supposed to be one. What do you mean? Those men and women had made their choices. They chose to ignore life and not respect it. They chose to be sad for no reason. They had everything a simple man wants in life in order to be happy. They chose to be manipulators. They chose to be liars. They chose to be deceivers. They deserved what happened to them. The pawn king on their chest was the greatest honor they could have in their entire pathetic little lives. Is that what you do? Respect life and not ignore it. You're full of shit, man. 
You hide behind your own problems like a coward, and you are not facing the truth. Which is? You're sick. Deal with it. You know, officer, people always say that life is sweet. Life is beautiful. Do you really want to know what life is? A manipulating bitch. Life gives and life takes. Always two-handed. You try the best your whole life. You go to school, you go to university. Then you must get a job, start a company. Work, work, work. Then you meet a girl. Get married, have children. Then you gotta work some more. And one day, life starts to take back. Economic crisis. The company bankrupts. Your wife leaves you because she was screwing someone else. But you know, do you know what the most amusing thing in life is? Doctors. Those cold, heartless, Sons of bitches. That's why your first was a doctor. That's what life is. A black and white chessboard. And we... We're just... Pawns. No detective. I am not sick. I am dying. And no treatment in the world can prevent that. You know better than anyone else the pain of loss. You knew it when you lost that killer. You knew it when your wife left you. You and I are not so different. Yes, we are. I do not kill innocent men and women just to feel better for myself. Is that what you think? Do you really think that I want to feel better for myself? Do you think that I'm so naive? Do you think that I haven't noticed that you switched hands while playing? Or that you're holding a gun under that table? But we have a game to finish first. And it's my move. Well, good work. It was an honor. Sit down. Sit down now. 
<laughs> for, a, for a moment there, I really believed that you were letting me go. This is your real choice, detective. Are you going to be a man of your own word or not? Are you going to let me go? Are you going to kill me? Arrest me? And if you're going to arrest me, how can you prove that I'm the killer? You only know just because I told you. I can't. I can't make the same mistake twice. You've lost, detective. Deal with it. The lives of my future victims lie in your hands. Make a choice, but make it quick. Because I'm ready to leave, whether you pull that trigger or not. No more. You will kill no more. Maybe. But <laughs> what if I told you? What if I told you? Surprise! What? Yes, I know. And I can show you where he is. Bullshit. But you'll have to let me go first. Bullshit! How the hell would you know that? Oh, I know. I can't believe that. You're lying. We should have to the detective. I'm a dying man. I have no purpose. A future. You're a killer. Nothing more. Would you believe that? Shoot me. Kill me. Do it now. But if you do, you will never know the truth. Shut up! This detective, this is the last move of the game. Is it true or is it a bluff? Make your move. Make your decision. And live with it for the rest of your life. Yeah.